What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of off -Road Outlaws. Now there was a small update to the game, like a really small one, like 9 megabytes or something like that. I don't know what that update did. Uh, it could have just fixed the problem with custom maps. Um, didn't really say. The off -Road Outlaws people didn't even post about it, so who knows. But the, nonetheless, what we're going to do today is take, and we're going to put a monster truck suspension on this Dodge Ram. And uh, we're going to turn it into a SEMA build using a monster truck suspension just for the little cage and everything. Kind of gives it a nice little clean look when you're trying to go for like an actual like SEMA build. So let's just get into it here and uh, obviously change this up. Need a bit there. Oh, need more upgrades. There you go. Front one needs to be upgraded more too. There we go. And what I'm going to do travel wise, bring that up, go to the rear, travel wise, bring that up. And then stiffness is actually pretty low already. So we're going to bring it down. We're just going to bring it all the way down actually. This will be a good, uh, good build here. Yeah, it's not too lifted. Not too crazy. Shock size will bring it up to one, two, in the front and rear. Go damping, and we're actually going to bring the damping up to about 33 in the front and rear. And then axle width, of course, we do want to make it a little bit wider, so we're going to go to about 0.2. Go to the rear, go to 0.2. Now, obviously, we don't have any gold, so we're not going to be tuning the gears on this build. Uh, or actually, well, technically, this is a build that I built already, so it's already fully upgraded, so I don't, I don't even know why I bothered saying that. Uh, so we're going to go to wheels and tires, obviously rim size, all the way front and rear. We're not going to leave the tires this big, though. We're actually going to go down wheel radius and bring it down to a 1.2, with the wheel width back to 1.0. There we go. If we do right at the top of one, two, there we go. Rim size good, wheel radius good, wheel width good. Obviously, it's a SEMA truck, so it doesn't it doesn't have to make sense. Like obviously, I would go with bigger tires than this, but <laughs> it's a SEMA build. Um, I'm just gonna leave the gears on what I had them on before. So three seven one seven one four one two one zero oh, and four point zero. Oh. Uh, as well as this is diesel swapped, fully upgraded, fully tuned as well apparently. And that's all we need to go through really. Uh, obviously, you know, a few extra parts on it, things of that nature. But as for the actual SEMA build of it, it's pretty much done. I want to change the rim tire, or the rim color, though. Maybe the rims themselves and the tires, too, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll go in here to the rims and we'll change these. Yeah, we'll change them to that spoke color. Oops. Uh, just because I want them to be perfectly matched, and you can't technically color match if you use a custom color, because uh, it doesn't really have like a oh previous color option or anything. So we're gonna do it that. So they kind of look a little off, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Tire wise, um, we're actually gonna go with these. They, nobody ever really uses these tires, so we might as well go with them, and we'll apply those mods. And I think we'll actually go out to the desert this time. Maybe we'll find a little bit of gold. Um, I know I need to do my video, guys. Don't worry. After this, I'm going to do my video for uh, the barn finds and stuff like that. So you guys will have the newest locations. Thanks to a few people that sent me the locations and stuff and how to get to them. Uh, so shout out to those people. And apparently I still need to finish one more trail to finish that... Uh, current objective so we'll probably do that as well go to desert all right guys we're out here and uh let me, let me pause that i was watching one of uh polecat's past streams and like when i 
just pause it to like let it level load or something. I'll just unpause the uh, video and continue watching it. Now, this SEMA build actually looks pretty badass. Actually, for being a SEMA build, of course, uh, it looks pretty badass and it actually is handling the terrain pretty well. So the first test I want to do, I want to see if they fixed the auto steering issue or not, or if that's still a thing in the game. And it still is, because that, that turned itself. I didn't turn it. Sadly, they haven't added a toggle or anything to that yet. Uh, so that little update, I think, might have fixed the custom map issue that a lot of people were having uh, with their devices and not being able to load custom maps. I didn't have that issue. I'm on blue stacks, so it didn't really give me any type of issue like that. So if you guys had the issue, I would suggest going to going and downloading the little small update uh, that was that happened for Offroad Outlaws and trying to go to custom maps again. Maybe they fixed it. Dude, having the suspension so soft is, like, perfect for a SEMA build. Just because, like, you can just kind of flex over everything. Just watch the suspension go crazy, man. Because we have, like, full travel in it. But our stiffness... Our stiffness in it makes it, you know, with, with the weight of the body on it, just drop all the way down. So it's like... When the weight gets pulled off of it, it's, it's very tall. <laughs> Very, very tall SEMA build. And it rolls coal, man. Rolling coal. And rolling stone, man. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's a little box for some cash money. Not some gold, but... Yerk. Alright. We're really going around backwards from what I normally drive around on, but... Hell yeah. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> perfect. Perfect, bud. Perfect. And yeah, as well, when I do my uh, little video where I'm going to show you guys the uh, locations of the barn finds, the new ones for the, you know, being back on Old Woodlands, the new locations for those two, um, I'm just going to make a whole new video showing all the locations and everything like that, I think. Oh, wow, there's, there's a box over there. Give me a box. Thank you for the gold. However much I got from that. Um, dum dum, come on, baby. Hit the jump, hit it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing's nice. It handles very well. I'm pretty sure you guys can uh, test that by now. This part in the video, I'm sure you guys have already built yours. And are like, fuck yeah, dude, that SEMA build's awesome. Probably. Some people are. Some people just don't like my builds in general. Because, like, people always try to criti- Like, a lot of times people will try to criticize my builds. Like, oh, if you do this to it, it'll be better. And I'm like, no. I don't want to do that to it. I built my build how I built it for purposes of which I built it for. <laughs> I probably confuse people. <laughs> but, like, I I just build my things how I want to build them, man. Hell yeah. Dude, this thing fucking just rips, man. Woohoo. It's got no issues. And it, it looks like a SEMA build. Like, with the actual suspension like that, the cage and everything. Like, it looks like a very expensive SEMA build. Like, it looks like something somebody dropped, like, 300k into. Like, yeah, I want this. And it fucking... It, it shows, man. It looks great. Ooh. Although I can tell on this one, the uh, cage is actually brought down a little further than on some of the vehicles. So it's kind of cool looking at that because they use the same cage when they make the uh, trucks. They use the same cage and just place it properly and extend out where the uh, axles are. I, I really love the way they set up this game for all their customizations because, like, it's a simple way of doing it that works, you know? Much like Mudrunner modders, like, most of us will use the same suspension or cage, you know, on, like, the next build. Uh, if it's like a good suspension and it matches with it. So I, I really love how Offer Outlaws does that too. I just don't like the auto steering. Like it definitely definitely fucks with you sometimes. Like I didn't want it to turn the steering wheel there. But it does. It's just weird. Like, like I mean normal, like just driving around. Like if you're not hitting jumps and you're not trying to rock climb or climb straight up a hill like you don't notice that it turns its wheels but it, it definitely does man and it just i it irritates me and i think i'm you're probably gonna hear me complain about that like until it gets fixed so you know 
Yeah. So for all you naysayers out there that don't notice it, fuck off, fucking. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we got some gold, with my ants. All right, let's drive over here. And uh, whatever like next like little checkpoint race comes to, we're gonna take it. And I think, well, I guess that'll be the one in front of us over there. So we'll go hit that race up and uh, see how well this does on an actual trail. Because I know, like, somebody asked me one time what, like, the point of Offered Outlaws was, and I'm just like, you just kind of run trails to build up your badass rigs, you know, that's pretty much all it is. Uh, so, you know, we might as well go run some actual trails, because I really don't run the trails very much anymore. Uh, but they're still fun to do every now and then. Like, it actually gives you a little bit more of a, you know challenge sometimes depending on the the trail it is and the vehicle you're in like if i was in something slam this will be an annoying trail to do but i'm in a big old lifted sema build so it's just like yep crawl on over just hitting all the fucking checkpoints no problem i'll go inside view for a little bit here little badass sema truck and i think uh this weekend i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do a live stream for you guys of Offered Outlaws, probably doing some like SEMA shows, car shows, things like that. Probably a little bit of off-roading as well, but mostly car shows this weekend I think will be fun. Let everybody show off their new styles and everything that they've built, because a lot of people are going to bring in like, you know, anything and everything with a monster chassis on it pretty much. And we're going to get a lot of diversity in like the build styles for that, so it's going to be pretty cool. I will definitely enjoy that. Uh, once we get that going, there we go. Trail run of five hundred dollars. Yeehaw! All right, send it down the hill. There we go. Did a little bit of a bounce wheelie there. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy at all. Probably a little damage too. Oh wow, we're all the way damaged, but all the way. And it was still kicking ass and taking names, so that, that really sh says something for this build right here. Like, it was fully upgraded, or it was fully wrecked, and I did not even realize it. Like, that says something for this style of build here and how good this thing is actually tuned up right now. Definitely want to take this on some uh, trails, like some uh, custom map trails, that is. So, you know, some people don't even like, like, the stock maps. Because, like, to them, they're boring. Like, I love the stock maps. You know, they're not, like... I mean, obviously, there's no, like, true defined trails unless you hit the trail races on stock maps. But there's so many climbs that you can find and crawls that you can find to just, you know, battle it out and have some fun. Uh, we're actually over here by one. Well, it's over here, but... Actually, close to one of the badass trails. Um, well, badass crawls, I should say. And it's what... I, I always refer to it as the Devil's Backbone. Some people tried to con tried to call it the stair Devil's Staircase. I'm just like, nah, man. That's that's the Devil's Backbone. <laughs> like, like Devil's Staircase is just such a uh, you know boring title. Let's just call it the Devil's Backbone, man. We're going to crawl up his backbone today. <laughs> Not his staircase. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just weird like that, but yeah, it's definitely, there's just so many climbs you can find on stock maps. Wee! Alright. I think, though, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go attempt to climb the Devil's Backbone in this. Honestly, it, we probably could do it, but it would take us a little bit to do it, and, you know, do it carefully. Because there's a lot of spots where a build like this will get hung up and everything like that. And we're already like 15 minutes into this video, and I don't want to make it too long of a video. I know a lot of people do not like those really long videos, even though I just love driving around in this game. Like, I, I play it for, you know, at least a couple hours when I get on here and play. Not all of it's recordings, you know, that I do, uh, but I do like to record a couple of videos in the time span of me playing the game. So I think we'll go attempt to go find this timed lockbox since it popped up, and that'll be, uh... That'll pretty much be where we end this video. I almost called it a live stream for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I just live stream like I'm recording videos, that's all. Alright, drive on up. There we go. Alright. No idea where this box is. Okay, we got 30 seconds to find it. 
Come on. Go, baby, go. Woo. Oh, God. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Roll over. Roll over. There we go. Come on. I think I know where it's at. I think I know where it's at. If we can get over there in time. It's like right on the other side of this. I don't think we're going to make it. We're not going to make it. We're probably going to see it explode. Oh, we didn't really see it explode, but I'm pretty sure it was right here. Uh, the truck kind of covered it up. Or it was on the other side on the uh, little drag strip over there. But that's okay. We don't have to make it to all those timed lock boxes. But uh, it, I, I definitely think there's none on Woodlands, though, because you don't even get timed lock boxes. So. Probably no boxes on old Woodlands at the moment. Which actually could have been what that update fixed, come to think of it. Uh, I just haven't been on Old Woodlands yet to try it and find out. So, nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. Let me know what you think down below. And if you're new, subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys in the next one.